An interesting photo has surfaced on social media of what appears to be an advanced fighter concept model of a tailless aircraft displayed on screens in office environments in China. It is impossible to confirm whether this image represents an actual advanced fighter, but its layout does represent the overall layout of the trend of sixth-generation fighter aircraft design. This may be further evidence that China is indeed focused on developing a tailless sixth-generation fighter, saying the design effort is moving into a more advanced phase. In October 2021, the U.S. website Warzin reported on the appearance of a tailless aircraft at the airport of Chengdu Aircraft Industry Group, one of China's largest fighter jet manufacturers. The latest image was first posted on China's social website Weibo, but few details are known about where or when it was taken. The latest image appears to have been taken around a flight simulator with the logo of the Aviation Industry Corporation of China. Unconfirmed reports suggest a simulator may be located at a radio electronic research institute in eastern China. The simulator is fairly simple, consisting of a desk, simulated flight throttles and side lever controls, and computer monitors. One monitor appears to show a computer-generated view of the cockpit with a head-up display. One of the displays above the simulator shows an image of the tailless aircraft. It is unclear whether the image shows a computer-generated version of the plane or a photograph of a real aircraft. If this is indeed one of the work sites for tailless fighter aircraft, the simulator appears to be running software-controlled flight simulations, possibly to study or verify various characteristics of tailless fighter aircraft, or in connection with the development of cockpit interfaces for future fighter aircraft. What is certain is that this photo at least proves that the tailless large delta wing design has attracted the attention of China's aviation research institutions, and the fighter aircraft of this layout is very likely to be the overall layout plan of China's next-generation fighter aircraft, that is, the sixth-generation fighter aircraft, and it is also very likely to be the latest-generation fighter aircraft layout of some other major powers, such as the United States. Last September, the head of U.S. Air Combat Command, General Mark Kelly, said he had confirmed that China was developing a version aimed at the U.S. Air Force's next generation of fighter jets. On the American side, almost all current sixth-generation fighter design concepts use a tailless large delta wing layout or a modified layout based on it. One reason is to reduce the strength of the fighter's own radar signature by removing the traditional horizontal and vertical fins, further improving stealth. General Kelly said the new generation of Chinese fighters would be exponentially more stealthily capable than the current fleet, and, as mentioned earlier, the tailless layout was probably the most critical way to achieve that. At the same time, the tailless large delta wing arrangement can improve the maneuverability and high-speed performance of the fighter due to the low air resistance and low wing load. This also helps to increase the altitude and elevation of the aircraft. The layout also improves aircraft stability and maneuverability. In both the United States and China, the sixth-generation fighter is seen as a key platform in a comprehensive air combat system, not just a new type of fighter. Therefore, the sixth-generation fighter jet is not like the fifth-generation fighter jet, such as the J-20, F-22, F-35 fighter jet, it is no longer a separate aircraft type. The sixth generation of fighters could include manned fighters, unmanned aircraft that operate in tandem with them, and other sensor platforms in the air, on the ground and at sea. The tailless aircraft in the Chinese aviation organization, if it is indeed a sixth-generation fighter, will be only one part of China's sixth-generation aircraft system, not the only platform. The analysis article in the U.S. media pointed out that China's understanding of the sixth-generation aircraft is already ahead. Of course, the media analysis and comments are not to confirm that China's sixth-generation aircraft design has been ahead of the United States, but that the Chinese sixth-generation aircraft in the world has been at the leading level of the first echelon and the American sixth-generation aircraft at the same starting line. It is worth noting that during the development of J-20, there was a considerable time lag between the starting point and progress of the development of fifth-generation fighter jets between China and the U.S., at that time, J-20 was a catch-up research and development project, which was fully more than 10 years behind the installation time of F-22, the fifth-generation fighter aircraft of the U.S. But just a generation later, China's sixth-generation fighter jets have almost matched the progress of the United States, a testament to the rapid development of China's military industrial and technological prowess. The manned fighter portion of America's sixth-generation fighter program, also known as the Overlord program, appears to be very similar to the Chinese tailless fighter. This may indicate that China's understanding of sixth-generation fighter jets is on a par with that of the United States and is also in the lead in the world. 
At the same time, the possibility cannot be ruled out that China will be the first to achieve the first manned platform flight of the sixth-generation fighter aircraft program. If this happens, China will be the first to surpass the United States in completing the first flight of a key combat aircraft of its generation. The sixth-generation American fighter is positioned as an advanced fighter with better high-speed performance, ultra-long range, ultra-high cruising altitude and ultra-high mobility. It is likely to be unmanned or semi-unmanned, with state-of-the-art radar, sensors and weapons systems. The fighter is expected to be able to carry out a variety of missions in highly dangerous war zones, including air, ground, sea and drone attacks. Western analysts generally believe that China's sixth-generation fighter jets are also aimed at all these goals. Finally, the report also pointed out that Chengdu Aircraft Industry Group's interview program has revealed that it hopes the new generation of fighter jets will enter service around 2035, so the first flight is likely to be in the second half of the 2020s. This means that AVIC's various subsidiaries must already be developing and testing various parts of the sixth-generation fighter, so that the first flight of a prototype may be possible within a few years. It is believed that China's sixth-generation fighter aircraft will be put into service in 2035, together with supporting unmanned aerial vehicle platforms, artificial intelligence battlefield information management system, and various new sensors, becoming the most important part of China's better and more ambitious future air combat architecture. Thank you for watching this video, please subscribe, share and comment.